Alright, so I wanted to make this video for anyone with a uh, Alienware 15. Uh, I would imagine any generation and the Alienware amplifier. Uh, one of the selling points when I first thought about getting this entire setup was that the <coughs> amplifier would allow you to have a desktop GPU and it would also uh, give you the option to um, overclock your CPU which they have a uh, profile already set up for you in here so what you do is when you start up your computer and uh, the circle starts spinning you just keep tapping F12 until this menu uh, you'll see a little blue bar pop up at the bottom and then this menu will open you'll hit the right over arrow once Oh, I'm sorry, you'll go down to, with the up and down arrows, you'll go down to enter setup, and hit enter, and then you'll be here, you're going to hit over once with the arrow, and then go all the way down to performance options with graphics amplifier, it's right there, you'll hit enter on that. And then uh, by default, I believe it will look like this. It should be disabled by default, if I remember correctly. Uh, if not, this might be enabled, but this might this might be disabled. I know this is disabled. So you probably come in, and this is probably what it looks like um, right here. I'll show you. This is probably what it'll look like when you get to this menu. You just want to make sure up here you're enabled. Uh, right here, you can enable or disable this. Um, I keep it enabled. I haven't seen it a difference with on or off, but what I do see is right here, this overclock level one. Uh, that's for your core overclocking level. This is for your CPU. Um, and when you enable that profile, as you can see right here, on one core, it gives you 3.7 gigahertz on two cores gives you 3.6 and then if all cores are running you're at 3.5 three or four cores are running you're at 3.5 gigahertz which is uh, the Maxis turbo boost too uh, these settings were 72 for the long duration power limit uh, which I believe uh, I'm not really sure what that changes to be honest but I know I checked in the extreme tuning utility and it changed a few options on its own when I enabled this overclock level one. I did notice a uh, improvement in performance in larger open world games uh, and uh, the, the CPU. You know, normally it just overclocks to 3.5 turbo boost on its own to 3.5. This allows it to turbo boost at least on one or two cores at 3.6 or 3.7 gigahertz which is pretty cool uh, I then go down here and change this right here you can do apply immediately apply once on reboot or permanently I do permanently because uh, when you're not attached to the amplifier it's not going to be enabled anyways uh, so you go there uh, there's no need to uh, enable your Intel graphics turbo overclocking no need for that uh, memory override support you can I did enabled and I left it on auto but it looks like you can overclock your RAM possibly um, if anyone knows about these options definitely let me know um, but once you have everything set up you're gonna wanna hit F10 to save and then hit enter for yes and your system will reboot and you will be and you will be all set to go with uh, your overclock and I'll show you once this boots up here and I get to my desktop still loading up will load in as normal Takes a second for it to pop up for me. All right, so we're on the external monitor here, and the first place I'll go to show you, which I could have showed you before and after, um, but I'll show you right here. 
Alright, so before my video got cut off, I was showing you uh, after you do the overclock and the BIOS, you go to the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility and you can go and check for yourself that it did apply the overclock for you at a BIOS level. By uh, going to all controls, by default I believe it looks like this. And over here on the right you can already see that uh, the active cores on the right is currently what we're set at and on the left would be the default. Um, so we'll open up the core here, scroll down and you'll see we're all maxed out on all four cores. I did change some other things over here as well. Um, I believe one of the only other things that changed was, oh yeah, uh, right here, uh, Turbo Boost Power Max 72 Watts, uh, and I believe that's the only change I call. Oh yeah, and the core voltage, it upped it to 1.240 from uh, whatever the default is, which I'm not even sure I'd be able to tell you. Oh, core voltage. I'm not sure what default is. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's that guys. That's how you overclock your CPU with the graphics amplifier. Um, you don't need to do anything in here, just exit out, and you can even close it from your uh, task tray, and you're all good to go with the overclock in place, and uh, that's all for now, guys.